Hello, everyone. I'm James Phoenix, and this is another video here on Pez of the Mind. With me is Anastasia Laserbeam. Hi. And Chris the Mole. Hello. And this is our second monthly pointless conversation. Uh, if you tuned in last month, you would have noticed that we started this new series once a month where we just pick a broad topic and we just see where the conversation goes. Uh, you, if you checked out last month's video, you know that our uh, topic for last month was history, which was chosen by me. And so this month, Anastasia Lazy got to pick the topic, and the topic was water. You know, it's really weird. Yesterday I went uh -huh. shopping. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> I went shopping yesterday and they were out of water. It kind of made me sad. How did they run out of water? That's what I'm asking. How, How does Walmart me? run out of water? I mean, granted, they did have distilled water, but that tastes so funny that I can't have it. It's disgusting. What's the difference between stilled and distilled? Uh, I don't know about stilled, but distilled leaves a very funny taste in your mouth. I thought all water was still. I thought they have to add the fizz. No. I prefer spring water. It tastes the most natural. I agree. Mm -hmm. I, prefer, I prefer water mixed with sparkling low calorie. No, that's not. But mixed with vegetable extract, sweeteners, and car which is carbonated water. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> this is clearly the best form of water. <laughs> It's, it, it, there is water in it, Jim. It's just some of the ingredients. Yes, yeah, so I have to go back and buy it when it's in stock because, like, no water. Mm. I, mean, I buy it in, like, bulk anyway, so it doesn't really matter, but, you know. I just like to pick up one once in a while. That's why. I buy water in bulk. <laughs> I do. I always buy it in, like, eight, um, like, about, like, eight of these. Uh, see, then... I will admit, if you have a friend out there who likes water, at least in the UK, there's these magical things called a tap, where you just turn it on and water comes out. I believe in America they're called faucets, but still, same thing, water. It's not exactly the same water that's coming out of your um, faucet. It's the same one that comes out of, you know, like a bottle. You can buy a, you can buy a water filter. It's true. Yeah. Or purifier. Like I got a jug that does that. Even purified water still tastes funny, different than spring water. I admit I can't tell the difference between spring and when it's gone through. I've got a filter system where you pour water in it, it makes it filtered. And I'll admit the only reason I bought that filter system wasn't because I was like, oh, you know what? I want nice filtered fresh water. It's because I wanted a jug and that was the only one they had <laughs> that came with a filter on top. So I'm like, yeah, fuck it. I'll do that for when I make my juice. There you go. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah, the only problem with the fact that we're going to bottle of water is we are generating so much freaking plastic waste, it's not even funny. You know what they should do? Make them what? out of recyclable plastics and then people to pop it in their recycling instead of being pricks, and they'd melt them down and make more. Hmm. I was going to say, have you seen the ones that are made out of, a, um, a, it's like a plastic, but it's actually made out of plants? Uh... Yeah, I've seen those, and, it, 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 and unlike plastic, it takes 100 years to dissolve in a landfill. That dissolves a lot faster. Yeah. Of course, you, you, can also, you can also keep your water in those hats. That's true. If you've seen those hats. I know a lot of people in the country of Africa like these hats. Basically, they're shaped like a vase, and you carry them this way, filled with water. Yeah, I don't think those are fashion purposes. I don't know. I, I saw one the other week, and it said Adidas on the front, so I don't know what to say. <laughs> <laughs> one at the Nike tech. Yeah, it's interesting to think about, though, because it's there's they, they speculate. I mean, obviously, the three of us are all in our early 30s and Stacey a little bit before. And uh, there's been a lot of theories that within our lifetime, you know, water is going to be when when our generation is older, sixties and seventies. Water is going to be to people then what gasoline is now in terms of you know cost and rarity. Well, to be fair, that's a, I'm going to make a case. That's a stupid theory. Okay. Because even today, three or four, three or four parts of the world are made up of just water, and it's easy to purify and 
move around not, to it, us. It's not exactly easy to purify, but they can be done. And um, right now, there are many countries in um, was it uh, in was Southern Europe, I think, that um, like during the uh, holidays like um, Valentine's Day or any like flower giving day, they literally have to give up their water for like two weeks so that people can water plants to um to keep them fresh for when they ship off roses yeah. to places and things. And they seriously yeah, need more water. <laughs> well, yeah, there's, there's, I mean, in some places water obviously is scarce, but in places like America and stuff, you guys have water cleaning facilities, so you can easily do that. And you can also clean it up and then just pop it back in the springs. You can, but realize you can only do that with fresh water. There's only so much fresh water to go around. You cannot purify and get the salt out of salt water. And also, places are buying up water reservoirs and privatizing them. Like, that I don't too. know if you know um, the former president, um, Bush. Yeah, he bought a shit ton of pr um, private <laughs> water companies. Like, he yeah, has. Yeah, uh, yes, he, yeah. He has, right. like, all the water right now. <laughs> and technically, you can get salt out of, out of salt water. You can get, yeah, you yes. get the salt, but only if you evaporate the water and you're left with the salt. That's the only way to do it. Mm -hmm. Like, for example, there's that gadget. I'm not sure if you guys have seen it. It's like that. And it can purify water. It was a recent invention, that, and they're hoping to get it out to places like Africa and stuff, where it doesn't matter if you put sand in the water. It doesn't matter if you put salt in there. You can even put petrol in there. And the second you do that and start pumping it, it completely purifies it. It gets rid of all non-natural stuff out the water. I'm going to advise you to never again make that hand motion while making that noise. Yeah, it's accurate. <laughs> but to be fair, that's literally what they do. It's a pump. You hold it in one hand and you pump it with the other. Did they do that in The Flash? Because it wasn't that advertised in The Flash like two episodes ago. Yeah. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. Yeah, I literally haven't watched that for a while. But yeah, it's a case of... That's literally a gadget, though, where they hold it, they pump it, and it purifies completely. You can even do it to your own urine, it says. Mm -hmm. For more information well, well, about... Well, Kevin Costner did that in Waterworld. I was going to say, yeah. for more information about um, water or um, the lack of water in the countries, there is Blue Gold and also the Water Wars documentaries. Um, it's actually a TV series of um, half an hour documentaries about each your country, Water Wars, on Netflix right now. Yeah. Well, like I said, yeah, there is some countries that, don't, that obviously don't have access to water. I will also make the case, avoid Netflix documentaries. Probably. I mean, some of them are good, some of them are not, so it's like 50-50. It, it's not just that. A lot of them, from what a lot of places were saying, a lot of dark documentaries that go onto Netflix, some of them are deliberately put there to get something by either one of the big countries that has Netflix. Mm. Like, if they do a documentary, like, they put a documentary up about gay rights and how gay people technically have equal rights and are just basically whining about it. Right around the time of people voting on gay marriage. Because they were paid by the other, by one side to put it on there. And you're like, no. <laughs> it's horrible when that happens. Luckily... That documentary has gone now, but it was fucking atrocious. There's some good ones, though. Mm. Yeah, there is some good ones, but there, there, a lot of them, like, there was one of what happened to the electric car. I remember that one. And the food, and that food one supersized me, and a lot of them, they're filled with a lot of shit that isn't real. Which is unfortunate. Alright, well, but anyway, back on to water. So when I was in Monroe, it's legal for um, all the water to have sulfur in it. Um, and Because it's not enough that it will actually make you permanently ill. It's just to make you feel slightly sick, which is acceptable. So I had to buy like tons of water all the time. And it also kind of smells funny because sulfur. Um, but um, technically, it's actually really good for your skin. So I didn't mind it so much when I was taking a bath. Because apparently it helps you exfoliate, whatever. But drinking wise, wouldn't recommend it. <laughs> oh, well, if sulfur and stuff like that is good for your skin, remind me to fart on you. <laughs> it's not the same thing, but <laughs> you haven't experienced one of my farts. It's the same. No. <laughs>
but yeah, it's just weird how water regulation can be. Like yeah. acceptable levels. Yeah. I remember here years ago we had a hose pipe ban. Mm-hmm. Mm. Because they said it was gonna be a drought. And every single person here thought it was stupid. And I think the reasons behind why were kind of stupid. Uh, they got revealed as something dodgy. But the reason why is they say the home t- hose pipe ban, so you can't use it. But there was enough water. Because like my country rains a lot. So it's like I don't know what you I don't know what you're doing with that. Hmm. Well you can't always buy with some of the stuff like I know my nan used to have when she was alive. Like this it was like a big drum mm-hmm. in her garden. And the idea behind it is it gathers rainwater and just fills up with rainwater. This is illegal. And then when, <laughs> no, this is legal here, trust me. My grand it's didn't keep a lot. Here. Here it's illegal. Yeah, it's legal here, and they're sold it. And when you turn it on and pump it up, basically it's only for garden use. But when you use it, you can fill up like your watering can to do your plants and stuff mm-hmm. like that. And I was like, oh, that's a cool invention. Yeah, don't do that here. Um, people will get mad at you. <laughs> Why would that be illegal? Um, I'd say because it would put a lot of um. I don't know. Some company who could sell you water would be out of business or whatever. Um, I don't really know. I wouldn't know is it's illegal to collect rainwater here. <laughs> yeah, this was like an official thing that they sell in gardens. And this is an official thing they sell in garden centers and stuff to collect water for the sole purpose of mm-hmm. watering your plants with like rainwater so you don't waste your normal water. Interesting. Essentially stuff that like America has bans on hose pipes and stuff in California. Mm-hmm. Something like this would be really handy there. Yeah. Right. Just have to... Get rid of that legalness. <laughs> well, actually, I would also make the, the case it might not be good in California due to the fact that if they have a hose pipe out of because they don't have much rain. Although, yeah, like I'd made the case, it is per- just for the record, it is perfectly legal here. In um, UK. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Um, you know where it has a ton of water? You wouldn't expect it because it's a fucking desert, Arizona. The ocean? Oh. Yeah. Arizona, like uh, my uncle lives there, and he has like the greenest lawns you will ever see. And they have all these places where um the water there is um like maybe seventy cents or even free if you happen to already have a bring a bring your own bottle, and you can just fill it up right there, and that's really mm-hmm. cool. Like it's a friggin' desert, but man, they have water set. Like I wish we had it here, where if I just could get like a water fountain and bring my own bottle, like. But you'll hard, but hard find unless you're at a gym or something to find it here. Hi, Jim. Hi. Ah. Yeah. So yeah, Arizona's where it's at. But they yeah, know actually, how to do water. But yeah, actually, actually, um, it's I just checked. It's not. It is legal in some states, but this is not one of them. I know. <laughs> Trust me, my mom does it secretly. <laughs> yeah, we have to do it no. secretly. It's legal here. No, yeah, he. That's why he was on about it. Because it, it, you, you said it, it, it's only legal in the UK. It's also legal in a lot of in parts of it's, America. In some states, it depends on the state. But New York does yeah. not. Oh, okay. New York doesn't have a collecting law here, but a lot of states do purely because if too many people start collecting the rainwater and holding it for use, then the rainwater won't eventually flow into like the wells and basins that it needs to to actually provide drinking water to the faucets and shit. But a lot of times it won't go do that anyway because it'll just dry up on a highway. Uh, see, with this, you know, it's not a case of you're collecting all the rainwater. It's like one device where rain would be landing. on anyway, it's not like you're getting it all from everywhere, <laughs> just this one area. No, it's just more of a lot of if everybody's doing that, there's a lot of water that's not getting where it needs to go. Yes, and in the case in the case of your country, I it, it makes sense to be legal anyway because you guys are on a freaking island, so there's kind of water everywhere and it rains like constantly. So yeah. It's not right. Yeah, plus even in, in Americans, if if you hold in the right place, if it's on your garden, the water would have just gone into the ground and seeped into the grass anyway. Right, but the thing is, if you know a thing or two about earth science, what the water does is go into the ground, turns into groundwater, and then it flows through groundwater channels where it ends up in streams, lakes, rivers, oceans, so on and so forth. Depending on the ground. Now, all ground is permeable. Yeah, it depends on how much gets absorbed by trees and things and how far it gets. But No, I mean, like, some areas in America, you've got, like, layers of clay with grass over it, where it counts. You've also got stuff where people have built concrete and then put garden over it. 
is like a decorative thing and stuff like that. So it depends true. on the area. Mm-hmm. That's true. But uh, yeah, eventually water seeps in and gets everywhere. Um, but uh, yeah, the idea is, I guess they're just concerned about not having enough water to fill things, which makes sense. I mean, even here, that's always a concern. I mean, here in New York State, there's an aqueduct that runs from pretty much north to south that d- diverts water down in New York City. Uh, it's called the Catskill Aqueduct. And there's been a lot of uh, concern around here in the area recently because uh, they keep saying the Catskill Aqueduct is very old and there's a lot of cracks and, and problems with it and they need to turn the water off so they can repair the damn thing. But so many municipalities are dependent on the water that they keep pushing it back. Even some of the local municipalities here keep having, are trying to set up alternative water sources from certain lakes and things that are around and making agreements with each other to share water so that when they inevitably do turn that aqueduct off to repair it, the towns all have sufficient water for everybody. I was like, what should they should do is build a smaller one and divert it. Yeah, but that would take like billions of dollars and a lot of time. And well, also, as I speaking of water, props to the bus in Liverpool. Okay. I love that bus. Mm-hmm. It's a big yellow bus, and it goes along the ground like a bus. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But it can go whoom, and go into the river and go across the water and come up the other side like a boat. Yeah. It's like a boat car bus hybrid. It's fucking awesome. They have they have they have those in some cities over here. I think Boston has those. They do. It's just it, whenever I see in the Liverpool on the big yellow one, it's just cool. <laughs> It's better when it's like um, cooler when it's like a roller coaster goes under the water. That's the most fun. <laughs> well, then it's just a yellow submarine. For more information, see the Beatles song. Huh. Get it? Because they're over go, Liverpool. The submarine doesn't go along the top of the water. I know, but she said under the water. <laughs> under the roller coasters, do. Yeah, roller coasters. Well, I believe you'll find that's a log flume. No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think she's about a log flume. Water can also be super dangerous by, like, if you're at the beach and it conceals a bunch of stingrays and then you step on one and then you're scarred for life. <laughs> Water can also be super dangerous if you're electro. See? Scarred for life. Okay. <laughs> I just have a mark on my foot. That's going to be there forever. Don't worry, Jim. You still have scars on the inside. Yeah. <laughs> there's no, I don't know why. There's, <laughs> so no, there's, there's no reason. Also, fun fact: Did you know jellyfish are mostly water? That didn't surprise me. I think they're like ninety-two or ninety-three percent water. They got no brains and a nervous system. Did you know people yeah. are over three quarters water? Yep. I know people do have a lot of water in them. I also believe a lot of some people scientifically, although it hasn't been quite a hundred percent proven, some people believe that's why people believe all the superstition about the full moon. Oh, because they're made of water, so tides affecting them and stuff. That makes sense. Yeah, because because humans have water obviously in them. If it's a full moon, it's stronger. Therefore, people feel slightly weird, and therefore, if they feel slightly weird or their bodies aren't feeling right, they're gonna be more aggressive and that's why join a people theorize that join a full moon that's why oh some people like join a full moon they get really aggressive i, I, I don't mean werewolves that's literally a thing with the full moon if people think join a full moon people humans get more aggressive mm-hmm. i thought they thought the water inside them was having going weird with the tide or whatever <laughs> No, that was just the scientific thing of how to explain why is because people would be affected by it and that will logically affect their mood. Yep. They just won't feel it or understand why. It'll just be off slightly. Mm. Mm. Well, the moon was the original waterbender. I was going to say, you were really into that, all that blood bending and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> well, I will say, oh, the moon doesn't exist. Piccolo blew it up. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> Why would he do that? To dick. stop a, to stop the child he stole from his sworn enemy to train for when the next part of their race comes to kill the Earth, basically turns into a giant monkey. He blew up the moon to stop that. How, how can you not figure that out from that sentence? I was like, Why don't I just kill him when they're a baby or something? Because he didn't want to kill him. He just wanted to stop him being a giant ape and killing everything. So he was training him. All right. So when he became a giant ape, he blew up the moon. 
It's it's all very heavily scientific based. Sounds mm. like it. It's not. Well, that's one of those things. If you, even I was like, uh, when they blew up the moon, I'm like, won't that affect the tides? <laughs> won't all life as we know on Earth die now? Uh, and then everything carries on as normal. And there's a moon back, so I assume they might have wished it back. Yeah. <laughs> or built a new one. Yeah, one of the two. Ahem. That's new moon. There we go. Uh, I'm good. Okay. There. <laughs> I also don't get why you're wearing tie dye. Okay. Um, it I don't know. Like tie dye here. It's a, shirt, Bronx it's a shirt from the Bronx Zoo that I got years ago. I don't even know where the Bronx Zoo is. In the Bronx. Of oh, New York. Isn't that like the ghetto? No. Wouldn't the zoo there just be like a cat in a cage? Mm, no. Hmm. <laughs> Fair enough. He's wearing a zoo top. It looks like, I hear it looks tie dyed. I was like, you look very 70s. Yeah, a little bit. I mean, it, it, it kind of looks like oh, water, and there's like moon and shit on it, so I don't know. You wore there's, it because you There's animals. No, not because it was water, just because it looks like water, even though I know it's not. <laughs> Why don't you just wear an Aquaman top? I don't have an Aquaman top. You sure? Yes. I find that kind of fishy. <laughs> <laughs> I almost named Fuji Aqua Kitty. Okay. But when she found out Japanese men don't like that. What? <laughs> <laughs> her neighbor, Fuji. She's like, oh, I almost named her Aqua Kitty. But then he's like, no, please, just call me by my name. <laughs> no, it's because the Aqua Man. I literally lost a leg in the war. I earned your respect, kid. <laughs> Because the Aquaman song came on as I was taking him home from the shelter. Which one? Aquaman's Lament. Hmm. Should, it should have been Aquaman's rousing song of heroism. Yeah, I was going to say, Brave and the Bold Aquaman songs are the best. I love that Aquaman. Outrageous. Yes. Here's an interesting question about things that live in the water. Could Aquaman mentally control the snorks? Maybe. What's a snork? It's a smurf that's been changed slightly to avoid copyright. Yeah, pretty much. It was it was a TV show in the 70s. It was basically the smurfs, except they had a weird thing on their head and they lived underwater. Also, how do you think all about the SpongeBob SquarePants theory that's been going around online? Uh, the one where they're all in, they're all like mutated dinks because of a nuclear test site. Yeah, because it literally it's named after a, a place is named after a, nu a nuclear test place in the ocean, and it would explain yeah. it. Bikini Atoll, yeah. And I'm just like, no. I mean, yeah, you could say that explains it, but that doesn't explain everything. On this, no, fuck off. It, it it's like that because it's a crazy cartoon. Yes. Mm-hmm. Although you got to admire the number, the number of in jokes and the names of things in that show. You do. You do. Also, if we're mentioning TV shows and comics and with water, I will give major props to everyone's favorite Spider-Man villain, Hydro Man. Ah yes. <laughs> I hope he I makes it into a live-action movie. Agreed. Oh yeah, totes. And I'll give an honor of mention to uh, to one of the best parodies of Hydro Man, and that's the Liquidator from Darkwing Duck. I don't think he's a parody of Hydro Man. No, okay. Only because Hydro Man himself wasn't that old, and he was just basically Sandman with water. I think he was just a parody of Liquid Enemies. Hmm, fair enough. For more Liquid Enemies, see Terminator Two. Accurate. But I will say one thing about water, Pew. Mm -hmm. Everyone hates it in platforming games. Ha! Like, I've never seen anyone go, oh, fuck yes, it's that water level. Oh, fuck yeah, give me the pad, I want to play that water level. Oh, God, it's <laughs> fucking terrible in every Zelda game. 
in any platform, even just, like I love Sonic, but the water levels, I'm like, no, I don't like them. Mario, I'm like, I don't want to be playing water levels. The only game that was slightly platformish that I allow water levels in was Echo, and that's so I could live. <laughs> How about you, Jim? Uh, you have to make you like platforming games. Surely you hate the water level. I think he's muted. Okay, for some reason we lost Jim. I did that stupid thing. Sorry. And yeah, water levels suck. They do. And not just in platforming games. There's also other games. Like, do you remember the original God of War games where you had to jump into the water and swim through that bit? I don't think anyone liked it. Never played the original God of War games. Or do you remember Kingdom Hearts? Yeah, and you had to do the singing stuff in water. Or that was Kingdom Hearts 2. To- or huh. the part, yeah, but you start to swim around the level of a little mermaid. It was fucking terrible. Yeah, that I was a really terrible level. mode of transportation. That did not work. Water levels are terrible. <laughs> they are. Even in games where it's not a level for say, even in open world games, water is terrible. I mean, in the ones where you're even allowed to swim, like GTA 5 recently, play GTA 5. Water is the worst method to travel. Why would you ever do it? Unless you got a boat. Well, yeah, they've got a boat, or but a even jet ski. Yeah, if you got a boat or a jet ski, yeah, it might be fun briefly, but like you can get there much faster in an aircraft. You could, but with a boat or something like that on GTA and stuff, say like you get a boat right there and you go across the land, you're there, you can get a car and have fun. Plane, I'm relatively sure a lot of flight vehicles on Grand Theft Auto games, from basically from watching even some of the best players do it, there's a very good chance you're going to die horribly trying to land. That's true. That is true. But the water is just the most, bo- just the most boring because it's like... I, just, I always find the water boring. No, the water is completely boring. And how many games does it instantly kill you even when um, yeah. it's not meant to hurt you? Yep. The only games that I don't mind water in is some stuff like... Do you remember the... Uh, I think you may have played it. The Sonic and Sega All-Star Racing. Mm-hmm. And I think they've done it recently in a Mario Kart too, because I like the where you're, you're in a car and then it goes into a boat and that then suddenly it's like whoa and you do it. Those are fun because you're transforming. Yeah, most of the uh, well, not transform per se, but the wheels still up and they do that in Mario Kart recently too. Yep, but even some of the ones of going on top of the water can be bad. Look at Battletoad sewer level. Mm. Mm-hmm. I think enough said. Yeah, and that's super on topic because Battletoads was announced today on Xbox E3 conference. Boom. Nice. More on that next week, people. Yeah. Cool. I keep everything relevant. Good. Yeah, that works. You know what? There was one game that actually did have good water levels, and that was Donkey Kong Country. <laughs> that had good uh, water levels. They, they looked beautiful. You could get out a swordfish and use it to kill everything. Those were good water levels. I'll admit, I personally didn't like those, but I can I see other people I still liking them. I didn't like them, and they weren't as bad, but they were still terrible. Yeah. Like, uh, the only time I've been okay with water is if it's not in games, is if it's non, I don't know what you'd call it, but non evasive. Like, there's a Sonic level on Sonic Adventure where you end up running across the top of the water, mm. but because it's basically a ground with cool effects, it's cool as shit. Ah, nice. If I was in the water, I'd be like, this is shit. So you're saying a Sonic is Jesus? No, I'm just saying he's Flash because he can run so fast he runs along the top of the water. Jesus didn't run along the top of water at super speed. I believe the Bible says Jesus walked across the water because fuck it, we make up rules. Ah, okay. <laughs> That's a direct translation. Yep. But don't forget the Ten Commandments, and i.e. the small print of the Ten Commandments. It says, if you actually believe these really came from a burning bush, brought down a mountain by one old guy carrying a giant stone, you're an idiot. Yeah, it's not even the and first we'll, version. They had to get it again after Moses broke them all. Yeah. And, they're like, and we look, you're an idiot, and we look forward to selling you the New Testament in a couple of months' time. <laughs> hmm. But apparently the sales of the New Testament weren't that good, so the Third Testament was cancelled. Mm-hmm. Which is a shame, too, because it was going to involve Jesus going into space. 
<laughs> to fight Jason? <laughs> <laughs> he was going to go into space to look for God amongst the planets, and that's when he was going to run into the space devil, which is the same as devil devil, but more devilish. I remember when people go to look for God and Devil, devil Hulk. <laughs> it never works out when people go look for God, and Supernatural they did it, and he basically told them to piss off. <laughs> yeah. It worked in Futurama. Hashtag I like the, God. <laughs> I, remember, I remember when Ben defines God amongst the stars. He's like, if you do something right, people won't know you've done anything at all. And sends him back. That was awesome. That's a great episode. I also liked God on The Simpsons. On yeah. some stuff. Like when Homer took his hand and asked him questions. That was cool. I also liked how petty he was on the Mr. Plow episode. <laughs> When two friends work together, not even God himself can stop them. Oh, yeah. And just opens up and makes the snow melt because he's petty. <laughs> I'm like, that's <laughs> awesome. Also, I will just throw this out because this will probably rarely get mentioned on our channel. Mm -hmm. People need to watch a little cartoon if you enjoy God and if you enjoy the devil called God, the Devil, and Bob. That animated cartoon was awesome. It just doesn't get mentioned enough. I'm never going to be able to mention it. <laughs> That's fair. I respect that. All right. Does anybody have any final water-based remarks? Um, trying to think of it, but I'm coming up a little bit wet behind the ears. Ha! Huh. I don't get it. Mm. <laughs> um, when it comes to putting water on an electric fence, I say H2 no. That's my closing statement. All right, Jim. <laughs> He's like, yeah, okay, I'll accept this. <laughs> yeah. Um, I will mention that even though water levels suck, water can be put to great use in video games, a la Super Mario Sunshine. Yes. That was a horrible use. That's the worst Mario game. <laughs> I love Super Mario. That game is that game is enjoyable. It doesn't feel like a Mario game at all, but it's fun to play. It is. That's fun. why it's, it's the worst Mario game because it doesn't feel like a Mario game. But it is so much fun. No. <laughs> it, it's as fun as Alien Colonel Marines. No way. It's it's fun. So much fun. And <laughs> I bought it three times. Hmm. I've bought Alien Colonel Marines three times. Oh. I'm sorry. <laughs> all right. They weren't all for me, but. <laughs> mm. Someone I knew wanted one oh, at the same time I was buying mine on release, so I got three copies. My final remark is buy water while you can because you don't know when it's going to be in stock. Yep. And if you do buy water, recycle Spring. containers. Yes. Although my place doesn't have recycling, so sad. You can take it to a bottle recycling place. Yeah, but like then I'll just be burning, you know, so much gas to get there. It's just like it negates the whole. Thing. Take them back to Walmart. They've probably got that little room with the bottle machines in it. You're going there anyway. There's yeah, none that there's none that accept that. Also, I will also say, Water Planet in movies is also bad. Movies and TV shows. Yes. Yeah, like Naboo, where I gave his Jar Jar. Yeah. Or Power Rangers, it was just aqua targeted. Ah. Huh? <laughs> Fair enough. All right, then. Yep, this has been a discussion of water, and uh, Mo will be picking the next uh, pointless conversation topic. Slightly warmer water. Ah. <laughs> and we'll see what that is for next month. In the meantime, uh, do be sure to join us coming up on Friday. Mm -hmm. uh, we are going to be talking about the PlayStation Plus games for this month. That's uh, XCOM yep. 2 and the oh, fun. Oh, you the gaming zone is E3 stuff. Yes, E3 will be on the Gaming Zone this coming weekend. So check all that out. And with these, we like to go a little vague so we can at least spin it off into different places. Mm -hmm. So I will announce now next month's theme will officially be called Nazi Dinosaurs. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Sounds good. Bye. <laughs>